all right, we need to find a way to enter into this firewall because I think there may be something in there. Or maybe the firewall is just a honeypot and all we need to do is just SSH into like this machine here, which is the number one as a root and then we have it. I mean, that would be too easy, right? I need a password. This would have been too easy. Get back to the drawing board. I mean, we found the SSH for Dave here and we didn't really check out what Alex has to offer. We went in real quick and didn't like do much. Okay, let's get the history. So in here we can follow how they installed this challenge, which is not at all on what we're actually trying to achieve, but we found it. But let's continue on. What? This is a weird coincidence. Am I so... Can, can I ping this one? Why is there this random IP address? Okay, it's unreachable. Okay, so what's in bash? Logout. Okay, let's get to Dave. And let's get the bash over here. Exit. Okay. Nice. But I'm pretty sure once I found, find like where I put the enum cat enum DNS to that in here, it said something about bringing that server. We have nmap, which is fantastic. Now we just need to, a way to find out how to properly use it to our advantage because it cannot be that we can't access anything. Uh, there is, it seems like no port is open on that machine. I mean, I did only try TCP ports, so nmap scan all UDG ports, SU. All right, fantastic. Let's do 192.168.122.5 and say fire UDG scan. And we need, of course, the password. Maybe we just should do the scan without DNS. This could be potentially interesting. Let's, uh, let's paste this one in here as well for now and we can come to them once we're there wait this is yet another ip that we didn't know before right i'm not stupid we didn't know this one before it's called vault so let's give up this one let's curl the vault let's see what you have to offer first of all let's ping it why is this not working nobody knows i i'm guessing alex knows because they set up this server. So congrats on that, Alex, for knowing what's happening on your own server. I mean, to be honest, that's kind of a feat nowadays. I can sniff with TCP down to maybe we can find something interesting. Also, this whole bridge thing. Uh, I've seen this like five times now. And if I see something five times, I just write it down. I'm just not familiar what it is. It could also be completely nothing and just a normal like system service that needs to run so that something works do i have pg oh come on now i was on the interesting part and i clicked the wrong button now you're kidding me where was i somewhere here now i'm root and i don't have really pgp keys maybe i should run this tool as dave maybe we can find some keys there why do i keep clicking the wrong button so alex may be like the the, the one to solve our problems because they have this admin thing but the only ones that are locked in are dave lost logons alex somewhere in july well this doesn't help us any way well, we have kind of everything we need on this machine to pull the next one. We have nmap and we have Python, which is all we need to spawn up a web server. We have also netcat, so we're golden there. We have a compiler where we could do potentially something with that one. Yeah, we have PHP stuff that's clear. We have ink, but it's just an example. Why do we have an LDAP file? Is the firewall a Windows firewall? Maybe that's the next best question. So let's uh, check out the keys here real quick before we forget. It doesn't list the keys, but we have GPG. It looks like we have LDAP and I saw LDAP last time and I hoped it was just a fever dream I had, but apparently it isn't. Possible private. Okay, let's, let's write those down. They are marked like in the red. If I could stop pressing the wrong button for five minutes. It, those are just like run of the mill. GPG keys, I think. Let's take a look at Etsy cron. What is it? Cron it off and then MD at. This is an MD service is my first question. Leaning Linux maybe. So maybe it's some form of panel, right? I'm unsure what the heck. Uh, is it like uh, something that's replacing systemd? No, I'm old 
I'm still accustomed to system D. Fantastic. Now after this one, MD Admin is a Linux utility used to manage or monitor software RAID devices. Now we have RAID going on on this thing as well. We don't only have LDAP, we also have RAID. What's happening? Uh, now this is like a pool of honeypots and I'm not sure that the server isn't a honeypot either. So the firewall, sorry. What's this popularity contest? Why do we have a popularity contest? Wait, wait, we have a private key for something? That's actually a private key for something? I just don't know for what. What is the LXC? LXC containers. Could it? be that we are in a container on this firewall host i'm not sure maybe we have to escape no it, but the hint was a pgp decryption thing what other interesting aspects do we have here so we have some lxc client key can we use this to escape to the host i don't know we have this key ring can we somehow access it what's inside okay so these are just the default key rings ah is there something in opt i don't think so no i mean i'm pretty sure it's something incredibly stupid but we are gonna use a lifeline here because i'm just too stupid to figure this out so let's take a quick look okay so we are gonna nmap this one which i found before right come on can i nmap this one seems down okay uh there was some log yes in here which had this ip in it Dog. oh no i mean i'm looking for n map and map okay here we have the n map command you know what we're just gonna take this and run it in here okay I, i'll try to understand what's going on here okay so we have this command which is netcat listen on 1234 and then netcat connect to this port all right should we try this one when was this in september so it's definitely not us okay so apparently if we scan uh, with the source port uh, 53 it works out and it says that this port is open which is why in our command over here it also only works this way if that's happening now we have to set up a listener okay so far i get it so something is on this machine listening on this port okay so essentially we try to set up a listening port tunnel on 444 we can only create this connection if we have this running so i think what this does is now i try to ssh as dave into localhost 4444 or do i have to say p like what was the command g4444 now we have this one listening right okay now let's do this again yes i have to do it as sudo <laughs> but uh, like this so let's set up this listening interface device thingy boom and now let's ssh as dave so we have a not yet another proxy tool let's try this password and we are in something okay now now we have the key with the gpg thing oh come on what do we do with this gpg thing and i just uh it up i mean that would be too easy right secret key not available right okay we need a way to crack this gpg I mean, we have the password, so let's go with that. Boom. Okay, so we don't have the key, but we have the root flag in here. So we have to find a way to crack this. Maybe hat tricks can help us this time. Again. Okay, that's for the private key. But we first need to find any resemblance of a private key. Is this the key? What kind of file is this? Okay, guessing this is not the key we're looking for. Being confused is a huge part of hacking. 